Ladies and gentlemen, in case you love your country, in case you love Kenya, get ready to be counted. The gains which you've made as a country are being rolled back. William Ruto is returning Kenya to Nyayo era. It took sweat, blood for Nyayo era to be ended. We should not allow the country to return to Nyayo era. On 29th November, Raila Molodinga chaired the Azimio Parliamentary Group meeting in Nairobi. And they made some four resolutions. And the second resolution they made, which is relevant to this, I read it and I was like, okay, this is what's happening. He said, we are aware that the product of the kangaroo meeting in the name of JLAC is scheduled to be tabled on Thursday 1st, December 2022, and subsequently a special sitting to sanitize the report is to be called on the 7th of December. This is how desperate and insensitive the regime is. They are calling a special sitting, not about hunger or drought, insecurity, and related issues. Instead, they are focusing on petty political scores and 2027 elections. We appeal to Kenya Kwesha administration to please focus. Focus on what really matters for Kenyans now, which is the cost of living and not 2027 election. And today, William Ruto appointed a tribunal with the aim of removing the four IEBC commissioners from office. This is what the Gazette notice is saying. The Constitution of Kenya in the matter of uh, a tribunal appointed pursuant to Article 251 of the Constitution, appointment of a tribunal, whereas the National Assembly has transmitted to the President a petition for the removal of Mrs. Juliana Honge Cherera, number two, Francis Madenge Wanderi, number three, Irene Cherop Masit, and number four, Justice Abunya Nyagaya from office as members of the Independent Electorals and Boundaries Commissions pursuant to Article 251 of the Constitution. Whereas the transmittal of the petition is premised on the finding of the National Assembly that the co constitutional grounds for the removal of a member of the Constitutional Commission under Article 251 of the Constitution have been satisfied, satisfied and whereas the Article 251 4 of the Constitution requires that upon receiving such a petition from the National Assembly, the President shall suspend the member of the Commission from office and appoint a tribunal to inquire into the matter. Now, therefore, having received and considered the petition of the National Assembly and in exercise of the prerogative vested in the head of state and government by Article 251, of the Constitution, I, William Samuel Rapruto, President and Commander in Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, do hereby direct as follows that Juliana Wahonga Cherera, Francis Madenge Wandere, Irene Cherop Masit, and Justice Abonyo Nyagaya, being members of the Independent and Borderless Commission, be and hereby suspended from office with immediate effect. A tribunal to inquire into the matter be and is hereby appointed constituted as follows. Number one is the chairperson who is Agrim Chelude. Members are uh, Caroline Kamende Daudi, Linda Gaki Kiyome, Matthews Nyaramba Nyambena, Col Colonel Retard Said Hamis Said. Basically, <coughs> William Ruto is going to remove the four IBC commissioners. The moment elections were conducted and the moment William Ruto was sworn in as the president of the Republic of Kenya. That basically marked the end of these commissioners. And for those who have been following this channel, I've always been consistent that there was no way Ray Lodinga was going to stop William Ruto from removing the four commissioners. William Ruto had decided that he was going to remove the four commissioners because there were certain things 
which were forcing him to remove the four commissioners. So in this video, I want to remind you of the reasons why William Ruto is removing these four commissioners. And as a Kenyan, you should be worried that a president can actually engineer just a, a removal of a constitutional office just like that. William Ruto does not understand anything about understand anything about reforms. He doesn't have any reform credentials. William Ruto does not understand why in this country we formed, for example, devolution. He doesn't understand why in this country we formed those constitutional offices. During those times, he was uh, busy drinking maziwa ya nyayo and leading youth for Kano. During those times, when the, the real time came, William Ruto opposed this constitution. So he doesn't really understand it. And therefore, for me, I forgive him for that. He doesn't understand it. But anybody who understands the, the reasons why he created those constitutional offices, please be ready to stand up for the country. If you don't, you will remember these words. Renald Dinga, at, 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 as, as we speak, is nowadays an old man. I, I'm not even sure whether Renald Dinga can sustain street pro protest. Renald Dinga has the option of, for example, just going to Bondo and watching things. He can do that. You know, I can see Jubilee. I mean, I can see Kenya Kwanza trying to create for him an office. He can just relax and enjoy and go. But it's you. Which country do you allow someone like uh, Whitey to just to be appointed to a commission like that without, you know? But let me tell you why William Ruto is keen on removing these commissioners. Number one, William Ruto is keen on protecting Wafula Chibukati. Wafula Chibukati's term in office is coming to an end in January. Constitutionally, if this process was not rushed the way it is being rushed, if the Gazette notice was not done by, let's say, today, the way he has done it, there was no way these people were going to be removed in office until next year. So which means they were going to stay in office. William Ruto would not want these people to stay in office because staying in office would mean that Wafula Chibukati's term is going to come to an end, Boya Mulu's term is coming to an end, and Guliye's term is coming to an end. So this group was going to be in charge of IBC. The Supreme Court was very clear that the commissioners are actually the IBC. William Ruto cannot imagine a situation where Gerera and the group are now the main people faces at IBC. Remember, so many things happened at IBC. There are several questions which needs to be asked and answer and answered. William Ruto would not want those questions to be asked. He would not want, want answers to those questions to come out. So the only way to stop those answers from coming out, from being answered, is by removing these commissioners. He's going to do it. The, I mean, William Ruto is the president. He is uh, the commander-in-chief. I'm seeing him uh, bringing around there how Raila Odinga should not go to the street <clears throat> because uh, the brother is a senator. The people of Syria, in their own wisdom, decided to go to the polls and elected Oburu Odinga as their senator. Personally, I never supported Oburu. Oburu joined politics before Ruto and Raila. So, that should, that's something which should not be flashing on people. William Ruto is also suggesting that Kenyans should not go to, his, to the streets. Why? Because Raila Odinga's daughter has been nominated to the East African Legislative Assembly. William Ruto's own daughter is an ambassador somewhere, fresh from school. The other daughter is roaming everywhere in this country using taxpayers' money. Nobody is talking about it. Raila's daughter, I'm sure, will be with the Kenyans on the streets. That's what I can bet. So the second reason why Ruto is keen on removing these people is basically his vengeful nature. William Ruto is a very vengeful man. So he's revenging on these people. These people almost thwarted his attempt to rig the elections. As a matter of fact, the Supreme Court was very clear that Wafula Chibukati should not have read and verified the results alone. 
and that was the basis of these four commissioners living. So constitutionally and by law, they are protected. They, there's no mistake they did. They just said, Ofula Chibukati cannot verify. The only thing the Supreme Court found out was that they ought to have had alternative figures. But they were right, according to the Supreme Court ruling. In fact, that grant alone was enough to, to nullify this election. But because the Supreme Court was captured, there was no way they were going to nullify. So they found a way of moving around it, that these guys did not have alternative figures. But they agreed with them that indeed Wafula Chibukati cannot verify results alone. So William Ruto is keen on revenging. Number three, William Ruto is also keen on legitimacy. And I can assure you, William Ruto is playing into Raila Odinga's hands. You know, the other day, Raila Odinga called for this street protest. And uh, he called them off. William Ruto went and bragged. Raila Odinga today met with his team from Nairobi and they've called for a meeting. People will turn up. I can assure you Raila Odinga calling for a meeting, people will turn up. And the people are going to turn up not because of anything, but because, you know, after the last election, people were suppressed. You know, they didn't really express themselves. So there are people who are going to turn up for this rally Raila Odinga is calling for. Railway Ring is calling for a parallel rally in Kambukunji grounds. So, but William Ruto is keen on legitimacy. He wants to portray these commissioners as if they were the only bad commissioners. Well, in real sense, the three commissioners, that is uh, Wafula Chebukati, Boya Mulu, and, uh, and the other guy, Gulie, those were the worst, those were the cartels of IBC. You know, the way they were doing, conducting tendering processes, you know, so many dirty things. And number four, William Ruto is also removing these commissioners because he wants to send a message, a very strong message to all other constitutional bodies. That for me, I will not respect in constitutional bodies. I'll control parliament. I'll dictate things. If you play, that will be the path. So all constitutional officers in this country will start singing presses of the executive. And that's what William Ruto wants. He has the church already. He has the judiciary. Now constitutional officers, all of them, are going to be in trouble. And lastly, 2027 election. William Ruto wants to go into the next general election with seven commissioners appointed directly by him, controlled directly by him. He doesn't want to test, take risk again. He wants commissioners who will be singing his presses, who will be doing things the way he wants, who will be printing separate forms the way he wants, who will be procurement the Kimskit the way he wants, you know, who will be registering people the way he wants. You know, basically, William Ruto wants to secure his second term in the year 2023. Let us wait and see whether it's going to succeed. Bye-bye.